Zebra Herd, welcome back to Little Big Planet. Today, we're gonna go back into the first area of the game, of course, oh, and hi. complete it. Oh, uh, hi. You're actually back in the story mode where you started out from. Mm hmm. Select this option to continue to gad about Little Big Planet and collect the materials and such to help you build strange new worlds on your My Moon. I'll keep that in mind, thank you. <laughs> So we're gonna go back into the story and fully 100% complete the first area of the game, which of course is the garden. So I think that, let me take a look at this. I think we've completed everything here, right? Or not really. Yeah, okay, there is, should be at least one more thing. We need to ace this level, right? So let's get started with that. I think yeah, if we go over here, collected 18 out of 18 items, which is weird because that doesn't look like it to me. And level complete gifts. Okay, some of it's still popping up. There we go. Okay, that makes a little bit more sense. I'm pretty sure we can ace this level, so we'll just give it our best shot now. And ignore what everybody says, because we did that in the first episode. Oh my gosh, I'm glad to be getting back to this. This is a lot of fun. And I'm gonna ignore everybody forever, except for the things we just need to do. Like, I don't know if we ever actually did this. So let's do it now and find out what happens. Do we get anything cool? Oh, hey, we get a race. I think this is what we need to do to unlock the bird over the gap that we usually respawn from, so definitely worth doing that. Oh gosh, oh, almost didn't make that jump. Oh, look at the secret stickerist. <laughs> I like that, so we get a trophy for it as well, which is a pretty nice touch. Now, we could be picking up uh, bubbles if we wanted to because the bubbles do actually stop the timer, which is always worth our while if we wanted to get the best score possible. Not really too interested in that, but hey, I'll give it my best shot and see what ends up happening. Hopefully, we have a good time with it. But yeah, that'll be the main gist of today's episode is to make our way back through the first area of the game and just complete whatever we can, and hopefully everything turns out just fine. Let me know what you think about that format. That's probably the format we'll do across the entire series is uh, trying to just do one area at a time and then we'll go back through the area one more time, 100% completing everything we failed at. Oh my gosh. Speaking of which, we just failed there. Okay, I don't care about the multiplier too much this time. I just wanna make a nice secure jump. That worked out pretty well. Yeah, we'll try to get a decent combo whenever we can just to save ourselves on some time, but not too interested beyond that because it isn't really the multiplier that gives you the extra time, it's just picking up bubbles themselves. So if we jump and then grab that, awesome. See, I don't think that bird is down there if you don't activate the race. So you wanna make sure you do that. Make sure you have that shoe sticker. And there we go. So hello, goodbye, I don't need to talk to you. And I guess we have to do this part regardless. The race is over, so it doesn't really matter too much if we have to you know, just race through this a little bit. I don't wanna spend too much time on it because you guys saw it last episode. There we go. <laughs> The, the, the shoes don't entirely match up very well and the shirt's a little too small, but hey, if he thinks he's beautiful, then he is beautiful. Let's keep moving. The gophers are happy about that, I'm sure they are, but I got places to be. So this one will be pretty easy to do this, you know, the gardens, 100% completing everything. At least it should be, as long as I don't make too many awful choices. That should definitely be like my highest score ever, but no lives lost, awesome. So there is, I think, one of our first aces. We get a pirate hook, a pirate eye patch. Very, very nice. And in total, 14,566 points. So that should be pretty good. Whoa, it can make the camera go all over the place. Yeah, that's definitely our top score that I have on any of my accounts right now. But uh, yeah, we would like to continue to the pod and check out the actual pin for the level and make sure that we've gotten everything done. The best way to do that is just press square. And then if we shift over here, you can see we got the ace, we got the 100%. And then if everything is loaded, you can see we get the ace level gifts, which is weird that that doesn't total to the 100%. We'll also be doing the mini games soon enough, but I think we'll finish off the episode with the mini games. So this level we have aced, but we haven't gotten all the prizes and goodies in them. So sort of a mix match here. So we have not gotten the prizes for collecting all the gifts. So let's get started with the gifts themselves in Get a Grip. I'm actually surprised we aced this one. I thought that we had died during it, but I guess I'm getting it mixed up with the level after this. So, lots more left to do, that's for sure. Okay, so here we are, back again. I do need to be careful, because I don't know if I've really diligently gone through everything in this level. I know there are some things I got, some things I did not. And I just gotta sort of go through it one more time. And that's sort of something you might end up seeing me do for like area two, is at our first playthrough, I'll get what I can, whatever's in the way, and here's our first use of the star but I'm not gonna go really, really out of my way because I'm gonna have to do it most likely again. So it might not be worth more time to you know, diligently go through it the first time. Sort of learn the levels, learn the lay of the land, which I already should know them, but it's been four years since I've last played this game. Some people were asking, when's the last time I've played this game? It was four years ago when we did an original playthrough of it. 
to celebrate the launch of Little Big Planet 3. So I figure, you know, it's been almost half a decade. It should be worth my time to uh, do another playthrough of it. So we'll do the teapot, which I think we've done in the past. Yep, and then the star. And there is like four or five different stars you can sticker around here. So we really have to look for it, make sure we're as diligent as possible. I know there was a jump with one of these horses we didn't make very well. Might even just be right here. Oh gosh, I think it's here. I don't know, Oof. it's hard to tell. Yeah, I think it might have been, because he gets stuck. Oh no, no, no he doesn't, no he doesn't. That's good. I need to sort of be prepared, because I think I do need to get him up this hill if it's possible. Oh, it might not be possible. Maybe in like multiple players it could be. But I think that I need to get up that tree somehow. I think there might be another way. So we'll have to take a look. But that's where this gets really tough, is that there's so many different places where you can miss stickers and items and gifts, just in general. You have to be very diligent, whether you want to be or not. So I'll try to keep that in mind as much as possible, but I'm sure we'll have fun along the way too, so isn't that big of a deal. Not wearing a costume yet today, just having to decide on what we wanted to wear. Not really that big of a deal to me, to be honest. See, so yeah, it's over here. I, I'm pretty sure there is something on top of this tree. I might have to replay through the level again, which that would be concerningly quick that we already have to do that. But yeah, I, I honestly don't know. I don't know if restarting will undo the progress we've already made, but I might as well give it a try now to find out. All right, come on, ready? At the jump! Yes, okay, we made it up the tree. And I'm pretty sure, yes, there is something up here. Totally worth doing then. Let's go ahead and grab that. And what do we get here? A couple more pieces of stuff. Now, I don't know if we can make our jump to the left there, but I'm pretty sure there's nothing. I seem to make sure I get this. Ho oh, oh, ho oh, ho, just barely did. Awesome, I am so super glad to see that. That That's a tough jump to make, at least by yourself. I'm sure if you play multiplayer, you sort of have more than one chance to get to it. So that's good, we'll rush back to where we were now. But I'm glad I did take the extra diligence. When I restarted the level, everything I had collected was saved, so that's good. I didn't have to like go back to the main menu to restart. You just press start and press restart. So that's all you gotta do. Yeah, I don't know how many people will actually be following this as a guide. I wouldn't recommend it. It's probably not gonna be the most coherent guide in the world. But I just, for me personally, it's important that I finally 100% complete this game. I know it's gonna be difficult later on. There are some crazy tough levels in this game. But it's important to me to do because I love this game so much and I've never actually done that. I feel like I just need to do the game justice. So most of this area isn't too bad. But there is, I think, another star thing coming up right here, and then I think there's another one on the tree. So what is this, our fourth one so far? I think so, our fourth one, and then there should be a fifth one on the tree. Get a lot more stuff there, we get the teeter-totter. That's always cool, and you get the objects for the things you had just used. Oh no, okay, I don't fall, if I can manage. Can I make this jump now that I've messed up these blocks? I sure hope so. Oh no, this is not looking good. Pull this thing up here, come on, you can do it, Zach boy. Do I need to move this stuff first? This is getting messy real fast. Come on, come on. Jeez, I can't get up here. Can I not do this? Uh-oh. <laughs> Might have to do plan B, which is like, ooh, there's no way. Oh, okay, there we go. Okay, for whatever reason, not tapping X was a little bit easier. So of course we've gone up here before, but I do just need to make extra sure I'm almost positive. Yep, here is our fifth one. There's too many of these. <laughs> I mean, I guess that's sort of the whole thing is that it really wants to drive from the fact that you can replay. Oh no, we missed one! Gosh darn it, I thought I was gonna land on the one piece of the cloud. It really wants to drive home the fact that there are so many different things you can do to replay the level and get more stuff. No, the block! I need that back up here. Come on, come on, come on. Perfect, yes, got it. Okay, so we're doing good. I just need to get all the way back around there. Talk about convoluted. I mean, it's my own fault, but I still made the mistake. So there we go, we got that object as well. Getting a lot closer to 100% than we were before, that's for sure. Which is all I really want, is to get to 100%. But I am not looking forward to some, uh, acing most of the other levels is going to be real tough. The thing I'm like dreading the most though out of anything, we already got this key, but I might just grab it just to be extra sure. Then is there anything to the left of you? I guess not. Looks like there could be. The thing I'm doing the most are the four player little things that you can do. Of course, last episode we did a little two player one. Well, there I think there are three player and four player ones as well. I'm sort of dreading those because I haven't thought about what I want to do to organize that just because 
limited time frames and such. Okay, so there isn't too much going on with this. I just need to trick with this guy. And I will need to use him, I'm pretty sure, so might wanna go and grab him now before I run out of options. Okay, let's go, my friend. Let's head off into the wild world ahead of us. <laughs> okay. And with this, I mean, once again, I could just jump over him. Because physics, he'll just like, because of the physics, you know, he'll just start moving. And I think I missed most of the prizes. Like, they start about here, over this jump, and boom. Yep. No, 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 wrong thing. Wrong thing. I need the stickers, not the, the costume. No, not that. Come over here. Where is it? I keep doing the wrong thing, what's wrong with me? <laughs> there, and boom. So there's yet another star in the sky. We unlocked the little horse. Oh, that's awesome. There you go, cool. So there's that one. No, oh, he's just hanging out over here. No, we ran out of time, what a shame. And I already got this thing up there, so I'm pretty sure that means we've 100% completed the level. Awesome, great, y'all. You're get, really getting the grips with the basics. Indeed we are. So awesome stuff. I think that means we've completed it. No lives lost, which we already had done. Items collected, come on 100%. Yeah, 100%, which wins us uh, some concept art, awesome. I like to see it. Okay, so we're back in the overworld here. So there's a couple more things we need to do. We need to do skate to, for skate to victory. We will probably have to do this twice. Once getting all the items and the second time acing it just because trying to do both of them at once is a little bit challenging. As you can see, we've collected 44 out of the 64 items and we still have yet to ace it. So that's gonna be a bit of a challenge, but totally worth our while. We got the star sticker in this level just at the very end. So there are some things we can get with the star sticker that we've yet to get, like this right over here at the beginning. Get a little star and some stuff will land in the teacups. Awesome. Got it, whoa, 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 what are they doing? I don't know, they're doing little cartwheels. So I just have to be careful and make extra sure. Yeah, some of this stuff isn't really totally stuck to the ground, I remember. Or at least you can wiggle it a little bit, like this bush, I think. Let's see. Yeah, this bush isn't stuck on the ground. The easy stuff is now over. Yep, we know, we know. Don't care too much about the story in these episodes. At least, you know, the collection episodes where we've already run it all. So we'll try to ace everything. We got pretty far almost acing everything the first time we tried. Don't know if that's gonna happen this time. Okay, I, my jumps aren't really working out so well for me right now. There we go, gotcha. But obviously, oh gosh, oh gosh. My main concern is still just getting all the stickers, getting all the collectibles, then we can worry a little bit more about acing. Oh boy. Grab this. Oh, okay, that sort of worked. And some people have asked me maybe after I complete this game, would I be willing to do Little Big Planet 2? Or, oh hey, here's one. Didn't even re remember this one was here. Or any of the other Little Big Planet games. Of course, I've played almost every, yeah, I have played every Little Big Planet game in video on video at some point or another. Uh, but I've never really properly 100% completed any of them. It was never really in my interest too much. I really just prefer just enjoying playing them. If this goes well and a lot of you seem to enjoy it, then I definitely would be interested in doing Little Big Planet 2, or Little Big Planet Carding, or Little Big Planet 3. I know we've already played, we played Little Big Planet PSP the most recent, I think that was back in 2016. See, so yeah, there's a lot of history. And I don't think there's anything up this way. Doesn't look like it. So I think we're gonna go. We've already gotten two stars around here. Now the queen's gonna try to talk to us, but I'm sorry, queen, I'm a little busy. Oh yeah, and here's where the jetpacks are. I don't know why I always re remember the jetpacks being in the previous level, but they're really not. Did we ever knock over Dumpty? Sorry, Dumpty. I know that there's stuff up here, but not everything has been captured. What, what, what? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> we got attacked by a tree. The tree thought we were growing too fast. That was that was weird. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, I'm gonna have to give another try. I guess that you know maybe gives me a reason to slow down or relax a little bit. We've already died, so if I need to replay it, that's not that big of a deal because I need to anyways to ease it. <laughs> Can't believe that happened though. That was silly. So we got that third star, and with it, a couple more items, which was nice and good to see. I want to plop that down. I do see something over this way. I think it's actually the mechanism that opens this door though. Oh no, I don't wanna talk. I don't have anybody to talk to except for people listening, so I don't need text for that. Okay, there we go. And we're good. See, I don't think you can actually get up to that room above this door. 
and we just gotta get to this. Okay, gotcha. These ghosts, they're so spooky. I just love this this game's aesthetic so much. Like Little Big Planet 2 and 3, their aesthetics are a little bit more different in that way. I mean, with Little Big Planet 2, like a little LBP 1, it's about sort of exploring the different parts of the world. The the first area is supposed to be, I guess, sort of like, was it supposed to be different parts? Yeah. So like, you know, the first part right now is supposed to sort of be, I guess, like maybe like Europe or just any kind of more suburban area, while. The second area, I won't spoil it too much, but it is a 10 year old game now, I have some right to spoil it, right? Is sort of Africa, which I like a lot, and then we have other areas like China and Russia that we end up exploring, which is a lot of fun. Okay, let's get that point, and that checkpoint. And the next game, oh, we don't have that, do we? First, let's grab this key, which I'm pretty sure we already have, but it's good to make sure I don't wanna make text. Do we not have this? How and where do we, okay, Mr. Ghost, I get it. Don't you see I'm busy. Where in the world do we get that? Huh, might not be something I can do at the moment. I will have to keep playing and see if we unlock it somewhere down the line. We've already done this, of course. Yep, I think so. Just trying to make sure we got all the items unlocked for it. Whoa, whoa. But a Little Big Planet 2 is more specifically, oh yeah, this was a tough part exploring different parts of time. And that was a lot of fun as well. So let's go ahead and boom, got it. And there we go, there's a lot of stuff, but not that little emblem that was on the thing. So that's really concerning me. Maybe for acing this level we can get it, something like that. I don't know, it's not gonna be easy though. <laughs> I'm sorry I'm so bad and I can't just get it all done in one go, but hey, better to get that idea out of the way now instead of later in the series. It's just gonna get more difficult from here on out. Little Big Planet 3 was a little bit different because it just took place, you know, in the world of Bunkum, so it wasn't really any kind of specific theme with it. But yeah, that's that's what makes them so wonderfully different. But this game specifically has like a bit of a handmade feeling to it that's so unique. It really feels like, I guess, like a, a, a cute sock puppet show or something like that. That would be a good like, comparison. Oh, I remember. We couldn't get him over here, or we couldn't get the skateboard because Humpty was blocking him. Mr. Humpty Dumpty over there. But now we don't have to worry about that. And also, I already went through that. <laughs> Why was the timer still going down? Oh, he still might be in the way. Oh no, it's fine, it's fine. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, yeah, there we go. So we at least got all the mini games. That is good. The mini games are pretty fun. So I can't wait to check this out. We already went down there, so I'm not gonna do that. If you haven't already, be sure you check out the last episode. Or not the, yeah, the previous episode, it's the first episode. Okay, let's go ahead and, actually I don't think we need this at all. And can I go behind the bush? Doesn't look like it. So at this rate, when it comes to that one emblem, I'm really not sure. I was hoping we'd figure it out. Yeah, that was gonna tell me about the moon. Let me feel like on top of your head. Oh, it can knock you over? I don't know if this is a good idea, knocking over royalty, but I'll, I'll leave it be. <laughs> Okay, let's go this way, and I guess if we can't find it here, I might have to double check where you can find it. But at the least, in, a, in the meantime, we can replay through this level once more, totally ace everything, and hopefully everything will turn out just fine. But as you can see, we get 96% of the items, which is totally bogus, but hey, what more can you do? So, I did actually find out how to get the lion emblem sticker. While we're acing this level, I'll talk about it. You actually get it, and I totally forgot about this, but now that I've heard it, it sort of sounds familiar. There is a set of tutorials you can do on the moon. Of course, that's where you create your own levels. And there's a set of tutorials you can do on there, but that takes up a lot of time, but if you do those, you get certain rewards, and with them, one of them is the red lion emblem that you need to put there. So let me know if that's something you guys would actually like to see me record. And if so, then I'll go ahead and do that, but if not, I'll just do it off camera. And then we'll just get the rewards for it, because I think it really isn't too much interaction. It's like, you know, the narrator will talk to you for like a half an hour, and then you do one thing. It's like, good job, you placed a sticker! And then, I mean, not that, you know, denounce the tutorials. They're very helpful if you are a new creator and you wanna learn more about it, but for somebody who just wants the stickers, it really is just them talking for a couple minutes. You placed a sticker! Yay, you made an object into a square! Good job! Whoa, whoa, whoa! <laughs> We're locked in. No, 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 don't die, don't die. Gotta be careful, we're, we're trying to ace this right now. Go, 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 go. Gotta be careful of any sort of ghost. 
But yeah, that's the last thing we need to do for this level, so we might not be able to technically 100% in this area in today's episode, I'll be doing what I can. But if we're only one sticker away from completing it, I'm gonna say that, you know, for at least for now, we've completed it. And I, I will either do the tutorials off camera between this episode and the next one, or whatever, uh, whenever I get the chance, really. Or, you know, I could save it for the very end. Maybe we'll play through story mode and get as much collected as possible without having to do the tutorials, then do all the tutorials after we're done the main story and then go through the parts we need to go through for the tutorials. Cause I think it would be world weird if I just like, okay, we do area one, then we do like an episode worth of tutorials. Now we're doing area two. I mean, I guess I want to be too bad, but I think there's seriously like one or two hours worth of tutorials. So yeah, we'd have to wait and see. Definitely up to you guys. I want to hear some feedback for it. But for right now, all we gotta worry about is acing this. That's my main my main goal. This part can be a bit tricky with this ghost, but we made it through okay. This is the times two area that I don't care much about. And I think most of the difficult stuff is gone as long as we can make this jump. Whoop, yeah, <laughs> okay, we made this jump. Now it's gonna make sure nothing ridiculous happens, because sometimes you can die from ridiculous stuff in this game, like it's a certain object falling on you, or just like we saw in the last level, you just fall between the tree in the wrong way. It's just because it's very, very physics-based. And that's sort of a big complaint for some of the controls in this game, is that it's very physics-based. I don't even entirely trust riding this skateboard, because there is a chance we could die doing it, but I'm gonna try it anyways, let's go for the big jump! Yeah, we made the big jump! And the crowd uh, screams. Cheers, that's the word, it's not screaming. <laughs> okay, so we made it pretty well there though. I'm happy with that. I know you're gonna talk to us, talk to us about Savannah. And that sounds awesome. Level complete, so that was No Lives Lost on level three, the Skate It, or whatever it was called. We get the pirate hat, so we got a lot of pirate gear for completing all the acing. I think we actually got every piece of it as well, so that's pretty cool. I'll check that out as a bit of our reward. And yeah, that'll basically wrap it up. We'll get the mini games done, which I don't think the mini games add any completion in this game. They don't give you any rewards. But let me go ahead, before we get into the mini games, let me go and apply this costume. And there we go, there's that last uh, mini game. Very cool, it is satisfying to see these three emblems on some of these levels. The closest, definitely the closest I've ever gotten to 100%ing the gardens. I would definitely have to Get that sticker one way or another, either on camera or off, let me know. But for now, let me very quickly go and get some pirate gear on, because we got some new stuff. You can tell when something's new because it'll glow in purple, or glow in whatever color I guess you have chosen. So I don't really know. I thought we just got a pirate hat, so that would be down this way. I think I currently have things ordered by whatever I got first. So I know we also got like a, a bunny costume at some point as well. We got a hook hand, and I think these are pirate shorts. And then down this way, do we have a pirate waistcoat? That's a, yeah, a waistcoat. No bunny tail for the pirate. So this is one of the uh, costumes we unlocked for acing all the levels in the gardens. It was the pirate costume. Ah, I am a pirate. And then maybe we'll check out that bunny costume as well, if I remember, which I'll probably forget, no wrong area. Uh, let's go to the first mini game in the game. It is tie skipping by the king. And as you can see, skip over the king's tie, survive and collect points for as long as you can. And there is no like showcasing of collectibles because in this, there are no collectibles you can get. I didn't realize, there was, is there a description for every level? I wanna read through those, they sound interesting. Okay, so, welcome to the tie skipping. Keep jumping over the king's tie, don't get knocked off. Survive and collect score bubbles for as long as you can before you die. Jump down the hole to begin. Okay, let's, wait. Jump over the king's tie? Wait, he's the king? He isn't the king. Maybe he's the king of something else. Maybe he's the king's friend who's also a king from a neighboring area. He's the guy we helped clothe. Weird, I, I, I don't know why they said the king's tie. Maybe he's borrowing the king's tie? Who knows, maybe they didn't think about it very much. But yeah, this is really the extent of this mini game. It's not very complicated, but sometimes a simple mini game makes a good mini game. Honestly, I think the mini games get a whole lot better in LBP 2. But hey, we'll cross that bridge if we get to it. For right now, these mini games are plenty fine. But the goal, of course, is just to jump over each and every spin of the tie and make it as far as we can. Looks so my previous score, which all my previous scores were all from my playthrough from four years ago. Though I guess we can compare if I'm a better gamer now, which I'm probably not. <laughs> but I'll try my best, see if we can't beat 550 as a score. 
yeah, a lot of you have been sharing your Little Big Planet memories with me, and I really do appreciate it. It's awesome to hear some other memories that you guys have had. We're about halfway there when it comes to getting the 550. Can we get 600 points? That'll be my goal. Probably not. Oh, I missed one there. Oh no, that's something that can happen, I suppose. I know a lot has happened with Little Big Planet since the last time I played this game. Unfortunate thing is that some servers have been shut down for Little Big Planet. I know that. I think in Japan there are no Little Big Planet servers open at all. I know the servers have been shut down for Little Big Planet Karting and Little Big Planet PSP. I wonder if this game's servers will be shut down. I can only imagine eventually, but who knows? Anyways, keep going, keep going, keep going. We got it. Everybody's clapping for us. There we go. Oh, I beat it! I beat it! I beat it! Look at me! Ah! Ow! Oh, no wait! <laughs> I almost made, no, but dying made my score no down! No! I'm not a good gamer. Uh, I blame this hook hand. Uh. <laughs> All right, well, there's that first mini game done. Maybe one day I'll beat my past self, but for now, I think 541 is good enough. We are gonna head on over to the next mini game because of course there were too many games unlocked in the other level. We have Skateboard Freefall and then Castle Climb Challenge. Oh, this one's a tough one. Climb to the top of the castle, beat the timer and collect points. So let's try this one out. This one's like an obstacle course so it can be pretty fun. We'll give it our best shot and see what ends up happening. Hopefully pirates can make it happen. Okay, so uh, yeah, I guess there really isn't anything to collect, so if we don't see anything, we can just keep going. Welcome to the Castle Climb Challenge. Beat the timer and get the, to the finish post as fast as you can for that high score. Don't forget, collecting score bubbles will pause the timer and win you points. That is true, we talked about that earlier in today's episode. Go. Okay, so we just gotta keep moving as much as we can. Oh no, Teeter Totter's already sort of ruining me here. I'm assuming that I'll run out of time because I'm just not very good at these. Platforming precision is not very easy in a Little Big Planet one, but I'll give my best shot and see what ends up happening. Like, I don't know if it's actually worth it to pick up these kind of pieces because you do have to spend the time walking all the way back. I mean, getting a high score is one thing now! <laughs> Gosh darn it! This is gonna kill my time. I can't go for no speed run world record like this. Okay, try again. But yeah, if we do wanna, oh, okay, you know what? You know what? I don't care. I was going to say maybe we should restart. I really shouldn't restart, though. No reason to give up like that. <laughs> but if you're going for a high score, of course you wanna be able to get every single point bubble. But if you're just trying to get the best time possible, I don't know if getting every single point bubble would actually get you the most possible points, because you do get points depending on your time as well. So like plopping down here might sound like a good idea to get all those points, but it might not be for saving you time. I'm not really sure how that balances out. Okay, big jump. No, I'm so bad. I am so, I'm so bad. I'm so bad. <laughs> okay, who cares about the timer? I just gotta take things slow and steady, right? As long as I can do that, things should turn out fine. But it shows you the variety of different mini games you can get. You know, the first one was just jumping over a tie. This one is a full on obstacle course. We'll see more and more variety as we go along, and it shows you sort of the, the width of how much you can really do in a game like Little Big Planet when it comes to creating content, and that is really fun. And that's always been the big draw to games like this for me and for most people is that, is that I'm awful, no, is that you can indefinitely replay them and really find, oh my gosh, apparently this pirate puts butter on the bottom of his feet. That ain't no good. That's not gonna help you sail the seven seas. Or however many they might be in your dimension. 70,000, maybe it's from the pirate dimension where all they really have to do is be a pirate. I don't know. Come on, keep going. Running on the clouds now, which is not easy. See, this is why it's not easy. Get back on this cloud. Ooh, that actually worked. Look at me. Oh no, we ran out of time, the buzzer. Oh. Oh well, and there it was, the end was right here too. Oh darn, oh well, that's fine. <laughs> we tried our best, but we get a me measly 2,500 points. Oh, more sad pirate. <laughs> we'll switch over to the bunny costume now if I can find all the pieces, because I know that's another costume we unlocked just through going through everything, so that'll be pretty cool to check out. But yeah, we'll do that one last mini game with the bunny costume. So let me quickly reset my costume just like that. Maybe I should have saved that. Oh, you know what, I should have. Okay, let me just re-equip that super quick. It shouldn't have take too long. There weren't really too many crazy pieces to it to remember. It was just the hook, and then the last piece on each of these. And we should be good. Yep, 
and then I'll save that. Just that way we have every like official costume saved. I feel like that's sort of a pretty good, well balanced to make. And then let's move back and I will apply the white cotton. I think that's sort of makes sense for the bunny. And then going back through, I think it was the happy eyes. And then definitely, of course, the bunny ears. And I know it was actually the cat nose. I don't know if we, probably not the sharp teeth. That wouldn't make too much sense. I think the teeth make sense, the white teeth. Apparently there is, oh, you can have a piece of clover, clover popping down your mouth, that's weird. And I don't think it was anything much more than that. I know we had the white bunny tail. Right here. Yep, there it is. Okay, so very cool. That's another costume, we'll save this one. And we will head into our final mini game of the day in the gardens. It will be the skateboard free fall, which says hold on tight and ride the skateboard, beat the timer and collect points. Let's try to beat 10,000 points as we go down. It probably won't work out very well, but I'll try my best. <laughs> We're loading in. And then I'll definitely go through the other levels and read their descriptions super quickly, get a good handle on all of that, and hopefully we'll be good. So hi. Fancy a race, grab the skateboard and pull it to get moving, then jump on it quick. Grab one when aboard to hold and on and pump with the X button to speed up. Beat the timer and get to the finish post as fast as you can for that high score. Awesome, so let's get to it. So obviously we're supposed to both get a lot of points and go quickly. That's a tough balance to make. You gotta sort of find which one you really wanna go for. Oh boy. So far, I mean, there really isn't too much I can do about this. Oh my, that can keep pumping. I don't know how much of a difference that actually makes. Really hard to tell if it really does. Maybe some speed running experts know. Come on, come on, come on. Whoa, we're moving. I mean, there weren't any points to collect, but we made a good score, 10,770, no lives lost. Yeah, number one. Excellent stuff. So, as you can see there, we did really well, and we're a happy, happy little bunny for it. I don't know why the camera was shaking there. Oh, because but our head wasn't, because I had the wrong thing selected. Oh, we tied our score from last time. Oh, that ain't any better. <laughs> oh, well. I, I'd rather stay the same than get worse, though. At least, at least that's a good balance. But there we go. That's about all I can do in the gardens for right now, besides read all the description for all the levels out of curiosity. Introducing Little Big Planet. And then, first steps. Does it have anything? Learn to run and jump. So some of these aren't too interesting. But it's still worth checking it out, because I never really knew. Learn to grab things, and finally, Introducing races, yeah, there really isn't too much of a description for the main levels, but still, very cool. The gardens, 98% complete, like I've said before. Be sure to let me know if you wanna see me do the tutorials. So the very, very last thing I wanted to do is add one more piece of a decoration to our thing, our pod here, just to sort of make it feel a little bit more at home with every little episode we complete. So I'm gonna put a star right there. That is my little bit of addition this time. And with each episode, maybe this place will get a little bit more lively. But yeah, that's gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Little Big Planet. If you watched this point of video, make sure you comment Zebra King so now you've watched at the end of the you are a Zebra Tastic viewer. Check out more episodes like this one on your screen right now or by subscribing to join the Zebra Herd out of the way. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.